Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone, Matt Denampoli here. Welcome to episode 172 of Snack Minute. Uh, this week, we have our good friend Abil from uh, Thousand Eyes to show us another cool thing that they've done over there. Uh, Abil, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself to our new Snackers, and then we'll jump right into it. Yeah. Hi, Snackers. Uh, hi, Kareem, Matt. Thank you for having me again. Uh, Product Solutions Architect at Cisco Thousand Eyes, and happy to talk to you about Traffic Insights. Tell us a little bit about Traffic Insights. I know it's a new feature. What is it? And if you can touch a little bit on the use case of where it comes in handy, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Um, so uh, Traffic Insights is ingesting NetFlow. And one of the main reasons why we started uh, working on this is because uh, of tool sprawl. You know, we have customers that have up to 62 uh, tools to monitor the network including NetFlow analysis tools and, you know, offering them this capability so that they can uh, adopt and, 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 and stay in the same login window when they're troubleshooting something is very useful to our existing customers. So that's one of the main reasons. Another is that uh, we are approaching this from a very non-traditional way, which is we're we're ingesting the NetFlow and the flows records, and we are able to correlate those with traffic synthetics. You know that Thousand Eyes, we create uh, probes, synthetic probes uh, for monitoring network uh, applications and so on and so forth. And today, we, what we were bringing to the table is that ability, and, and, and that's why I'm saying it's then a very non-traditional way uh, where you can correlate the traffic flows with those uh, test synthetic results. Uh, you know, to troubleshoot, to identify traffic anomalies, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, you could also say that we are expanding end-to-end -end visibility, drilling down uh, further into the network devices within your network. Um, can you tell us a little bit, uh, can you expand a little bit further about the, that value then to our customers and, and what they are potentially missing that they're now gaining from this, this new uh, feature? Sure. Um, you know, one of those, today we will be supporting a few devices, mainly edge devices like ISRs, uh, 1000 series, 4000 series, uh, CSRs, Catalyst 8Ks, and so on and so forth for routers, uh, nine, uh, Catalyst 9K for switches. And um, the value, you know, one of the uh, value offers that we have there is that we will be able to uh, ingest uh, low records and enrich the public IP addresses. So you know that there are some flow records that don't provide or don't have NBAR support. So those don't have the ability to give you the breakdown of which applications are your, your users consuming the most and how much traffic are they generating. And uh, in, in that way, you can't really have that level of visibility to break down to the applications that are consuming your network bandwidth. Having that in mind, we will be able to enrich the IP addresses. So, uh, because we, uh, the those IP uh, flow protocols don't support the application field, we will be able to enrich a percentage of those, even if those flows don't have it, how, don't don't have them. Oh, wow, that's incredibly useful. It is. So, so this feature is not live yet. Um, tell us, Abdiel, when it when are you planning on releasing it to the public? Also, I think can we show it to them? Yeah, I was going to say, we got to see it first, Green. Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. So uh, it'll be live by the end of the month. It has been announced at Cisco Live previously. So uh, our customers that have uh, talked to us, they're very excited about, uh, you know, getting their hands on this. Uh, so by, by the end of the month, we should be able to have customers start a trial on it and test it. So, but I have a cool demo for you today uh, so that people can uh, get... Uh, lay eyes on, on this feature. We love demos. <laughs> I love Abdiel's demos. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so let me share my screen here. And uh, what you're seeing right now is the landing page for the Traffic Insights views. And this is showing you the applications, essentially your top talkers uh, from, derived from those flows that we are ingesting. Uh, and just to you know take a step back here and tell you about how this works. We are using our enterprise agents as forwarders and they tunnel all of those flows into uh, the Thousand Eyes platform and we process them and show them and display them here. Um, so again, going back to the screen, uh, you can see here the breakdown of the applications identified in the, in the, uh, in the flows. Uh, of course, for that, NBAR has to be enabled 
and the application field should be part of the flows that you're sending. And then we can give you this uh, breakdown uh, of your top talkers and then how much uh, throughput they're generating uh, downstream, upstream per application. And you can dynamically, dynamically select and deselect the applications that you're more, more interested on. Now, you also have the downstream, uh, upstream views as well as the connections per second. Uh, and uh, th those are the views available for your applications. Now, let me switch to conversations, which essentially is your, uh, you know, just that your conversation between your clients and servers, uh, the, the server port, the protocol, the device that they're going through that we're receiving flows from, and then the interface that they're using uh, to uh, or for that conversation. Uh, there's another cool view which is called the application path, uh, which gives you sort of like the path of your conversation. So from your client to your uh, server, and then which interface they're going through. And last, uh, you, you have a really cool custom view where you can decide which uh, local source of information you want to contrast with which remote uh, destination. Now, this is what the uh, Traffic Insights views offer. Now, let me switch to our synthetics. I, I promise that we can correlate with application synthetics or our test synthetics, I should say. Mm -hmm. And in here, we're looking at a page load test. Uh, let me expand here a little bit. You can see that there are some uh, page load time peaks in here. So as a network engineer, you would like to drill down into these and uh, select a specific point in time. One of the things I've mentioned this in a previous Snack Minute that I love about this is that you have a historic view so that you can go back and troubleshoot with the proper evidence. Uh, but you know, let, now let me show you the Asian to Asian network view where traffic insights comes into the picture. And for this view, uh, you can select the point in time that uh, was seeing packet loss, for example. And this will uh, uh, give you an end-to-end -end visibility uh, from your agent all the way to the application. And in this case, because we're monitoring this router via device layer and uh, we're receiving flows in Traffic Insights for this uh, device, we can enrich the view with a link to a Traffic Insights. So when we click on this link, you will be taken to a view which will filter by uh, the IP address of the uh, server and the device that is seeing those flows. So essentially, in going back to this, you can correlate your the application the the packet loss that you're seeing for uh, this application target to the amount of traffic that's going through this device through that uh, to a, a relevant interface and identify if this is a, an abnormal peak of traffic, if your device is overwhelmed, if, there, if your interface is overwhelmed, and, you know, the root cause from there. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Every time you're on here, Abdiel, I sit here and I go, how did they think of this? They're never going to be able to add a new feature to Thousand Eyes that is useful. And then you come back and you show us this, and I think it is brilliant. Um, <laughs> this is very clever. You know, being able to tie... The actual incident to test and being able to potentially replicate that. I mean, that's the maddening thing sometimes about trying to figure out where the faulty point is in an end to end situation is being able to replicate it um, and then tying the actual fault to uh, a test case and being able, this is just fantastic. This is genius. I think this is great. Yeah. So, again, uh, in terms of uh, setup, we support. Uh, mainly edge devices at the moment. Uh, I mentioned them already. Uh, we also support um, SD1 environment. Uh, so you can send us your, or send a, a, a thousand eyes agent. Uh, we, today we only support the, the virtual appliance, Tiva, or the uh, CAF agent, which you install on a, on a Cisco router or switch. And um, essentially you would have to forward your flows to those agents so that those agents uh, forward the, the, the flows to the Thousand Eyes uh, platform and we process them and, and, and put them here. Now, in terms of correlation, uh, the way that to think about that is, you know, any any server IP address that you're interested to correlate, uh, you would just run a test towards that IP address and uh, we, would, we will do the correlation in, in the test uh, 
topology as uh, or the path visualization uh, as I showed. Now we know that uh, this is uh, NetFlow analysis tools are out there. Probably 99% of our customers are already sending flows to to some uh, appliance, even including Cisco appliances such as SNA, uh, Cisco Telemetry Broker, and we are working on integrations so that we can. Uh, integrate with them, and you don't have to be sending flows to to a bunch of look, uh, uh, places. And today, uh, and at the time of release, we, the agent will support forwarding traffic when, uh, to a different destination, so that you can essentially start flow, uh, sending your, your flows to the agent. And from the agent, we can redirect those flows to to a second location where you can where you need to process and consume these loads. Oh, very cool. You got us all excited um, and, and the feature is not out yet. When can customers start a trial of this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I expect that by uh, early April or uh, end of March, we should be able to start a trial on this. Probably a usual 30-day trial, uh, which should give you enough time to, to test it and ingest some flows and, and look at how these uh, feels for you and if it makes sense for you for your environment this is awesome yeah unfortunately that's all the time we have for today abiel uh snackers um if you're already in in the thousand eyes family i uh, look forward to the traffic insights um or if you're not hopefully this this feature might have gotten you interested and abiel thank you for showing us this and we'll catch you guys next time thank you snackers thank you abdiel thank you everyone